Hello, welcome back. We are going through the C primer on Load Runner. So the goal here is to to introduce you enough of C programming language so that you can you can modify your default views and script and customize it to your need. So far, in the last couple of videos, we have explained all these things. Okay, and in this video, we are going to focus on functions in C. Okay, so let's see. I have a variable a and b and I want to find out what is the sum so that to find out the sum of this thing I declare another variable int r then here I am adding it and here I am putting output the mess out output the result so similarly if I want to another two two more number like c and d okay so again r1 is c and d and then I am giving the output so essentially what I am doing I am actually repeating this step again and again Okay, so here you are seeing a very simple task of one line. So same thing can be repeatable for for thousand lines. So instead of that, we can create a function, and that function is basically going to do addition operation. All right, all right. So this function is going to do addition operation, and this will take two variable. Okay, and let's say call this variable int x and int y, and it's going to return a integer data type so this is how you are going to define a function and then inside the function you define another variable say int result and then you say result equal to x plus y and then return this result return this result so what does it mean that whenever I'm going to call this function say add 5 comma 6 that means 5 is coming to x 6 is coming to y then they are getting added here and returning 11. So add 5 plus 6 it is going to return me 11. Similarly add 1 comma 2 is going to return me 3. So that means whatever the code here I'm going to, I'm going, I don't really need this thing anymore. I don't think need anymore. I don't think need anymore. Then what I'm going to do I'm going to create a function and that function is name is add. And what is add? This add is going to return a integer variable then this add is going to take two integer variable let's say int x comma int y okay and then so this is my function and here I will define another variable called res and then res equal to x plus y and then let's return that x return that res right and then what I'm going to do here instead of r we call add say 1 comma 2 okay even we don't really need this thing okay see like see how this thing is really simplified okay so so add 1 comma 2 is going to give me the result as 3 similarly here I'm going to call again add let's say I want to add 7 and 8 so this is how I'm going to give and if I'm going to run this program now it's going to give me 3 and 15 so this is how you use function to modularize your 